y'all welcome back to the channel so thank y'all for being here if you are new i appreciate you for clicking on make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you'll know when i post a video or go live also go ahead and like the video because liking helps the channel grow um i'm about to go inside of the dollar tree yeah i'm about to go inside dollar tree y'all because i'm about to take everything out of my working pimp i'm about to take everything out of my working prepper pantry and place it into my emergency pantry upstairs and then that way i can just when i go shopping i can just get things for the working pantry and extra for the emergency pantry so i can start back building up my three month supply y'all i think i'm at maybe a month and a half right now um i haven't been having to go to the store so that is a plus in having a prepper pantry so if you have not started one go ahead and start one and join me in doing it because it's nothing like if you're cooking and you oh god i forgot this well guess what you can go upstairs or wherever you're going to keep it and get it out of there instead of having to stop cooking leave your house go into a store being there for how know how long because the lines are extremely long and then come back that is too much to do and it's too many different strains out here now i heard last night they were talking about i'm sorry y'all i was outside gardening yesterday and i got ate up by mosquitoes but um it's too many viruses out there now yesterday i heard them saying something about um a new strain the new york strain they don't even have names for it they just name it by the state you know what i'm saying the african or it just or the country and i'm like <sighs> breathe tommy but i haven't been having to go to the store that is the most important thing i've been you know being more alert about taking care of myself because y'all know i did have covid back in november of 2020 and it was no fun so i did a video on that if you want to go check that out or if you want me to do another video and talk about my experience then let me know in the comments so let's get into the store because i'm talking way too much so yeah i know i'm here to do my emergency prepping and stuff but y'all i was wondering could i hula hoop like i used to <laughs> I'm going to get one and see. So I was really surprised to see that they still have some seeds in here, vegetable and flour, along with the um, tags that I just put in my cart. So I just thought I'd see what they had over here since I saw some nice pastel colors. But I really came in here to see what I can put in my emergency prepper room. So give me a minute, y'all. I have to look around.
first time I've seen a grow bag in the Dollar Tree. It's a decent size. This would be great to have and separate your medication, your extra medication that is. Kind of lighting will help. These fun little um, clip lights would be nice for the children to have, keep them busy. Glow lights are also a good thing to put in the air and they do have them, but they didn't have them today. You have some utility gloves. You're gonna need that because you don't know what you're gonna get into out there think also in this section they had some duct tape electrical tape yeah this clear packing tape all of that stuff you can just easily throw into a small pack it's not heavy it's not going to weigh you down this is the electrical tape I've said this a number of times, if you have pets, please think of your pets when you are creating your emergency prepper room, um, making your go bags, make sure you have these items for your, your pet. Chew toys, snacks, the little wet pads up there, you will need those. These small packs of facial tissue and hand sanitizers where you can easily tuck. And this is a whole little kit right here that they have that's antibacterial. Um, yeah, all these little nice sizes you can put in a bag. Let's not forget that they do have cleaning supplies there where you can have these little tiny things to wash your clothes. Um, even if you gotta wash them by hand, y'all, and um, get the, one of those little scrub things. My mom used to have one when we were growing up. I'm gonna get one of those as well in case I have to ever wash clothes by hand. I can use that little scrub board. Scrub board, I think is what it is. But yeah, all these little cleaning supplies and stuff like that, you will need. These are cotton balls. You can use those for so many things. You can also use them to start a fire with, if need be. Let's not play with fire in case any kids are watching. So this is some foot powder. This is my first time seeing it there. I saw it in someone else's um, video, but this is my first time seeing it there. Think about the person in your life. What will they need? What are their medical needs? What's going to help them and what's going to help you? Try to make sure you have any kind of over-the-counter medication that you will need. Aspirins, Tylenol, Motrin, cold medicine, uh, antibiotics, anything that you may need.
I know I'm repeating myself from other videos, but making sure that you have feminine products is a must. Whether you're using them yourself or not, you can always use them for something other than a menstrual cycle. This item was new to me. I've never seen this in here before, but disposable washcloths, yeah. I will definitely be getting a few of those. You know, just because you're bugging out or it's a crisis does not mean you have to be stinky in the process the whole time. So get your soaps, get your deodorant, shampoo, whatever it is that you will need. Essential. It don't have to be the big bottles, you know. You can get the little travel size ones so they're not that heavy when you're carrying it. And you can't forget your mouth care. Oral care is very important. You don't want to be looking for a dentist because you're not going to find one. These would definitely be good in a go bag with your protein in it. Snacks to go. And they have different flavors. So I'd never seen the freeze-dried um, fruits in here. That's something new in my store. You've probably seen it in yours. Um, I will definitely be getting a few of these, even though I can do my own um, dehydrating. But it's nothing like having a freeze-dried. And here's some more snacks. Yeah, I know I'm showing snacks, y'all. But you know to get the staples. But people often forget to get the snacks. To get something that's going to make you feel um, less stressed out. It doesn't have to be sugary. But just get something that you can that can take your mind off of what you're going through. And these little fun-size water bottles, they will be great for the kids. Kids love things in little pint sizes. 
And in case you didn't know, but I'm pretty sure you do know, noodles is always a great way to go because you don't have to cook your noodles. Some people eat their noodles as if they were chips. Again, these things right here will benefit your children because if they see you worried and stressed out, they're going to worry and stress out. So keeping them busy, giving them fun things like this right here as a treat only would be a great thing to have in your backpack or in their backpack. And if you need to add that coffee to your emergency pantry, go ahead and do it. There's no rules in what you do with your pantry. It's what makes you comfortable. It's what you and your family eat. These little cereals, they are great with milk and they're great without. So this video, y'all, is a three-day video, well, three-day challenge for survival um, items that you can get to put in your emergency prepper pantry and I hope you enjoy it and this is part two and part three will be coming soon now I will say I don't like eating a lot of beans but I am gonna start buying more beans to put in my pantry because you never know it could be a barter item or hey you might start liking them now i'm not telling you you need to get your tissue and paper towels from the dollar tree but i am just showing it to you to let you know that you can get it from there if you need to thank y'all for watching see you tomorrow time to sort out all the fights yeah. to sort out all the lies oh baby yeah oh, no. there was a part of me that knew that and still i'm caught by surprise oh. i thought you'd always be mine oh yeah i guess our dreams fell asleep there's no passion in the comatose yeah. baby going down